Over the weekend, the Trump family is being accused of making the Memorial Day holiday all about them. Here's what they said on Morning Joe, folks. Contrast. Look at the President of the United States at Arlington, a place that gives anybody who has a patriotic bone in their body or a human bone in their body chills just to walk through and look at those headstones and then look at what his opponent in this election was doing yesterday. There's your contrast right there. And it wasn't just right former there. President Trump. It was his son, Eric, uh, getting some well-deserved backlash over his social media posts after one user posted a photo of the Trump family with the caption, quote, Oh, there they are, folks. If I can only show you this picture for those of you that they can't see it, but the whole Trump family is lined up. And I would just like to say that none of these people have ever served. And generationally, at least in the Trump family, none of these people generationally have ever served in the military. Oh, the family that gave up everything to save America. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. This no. is over Memorial oh. Day weekend. Sweet Eric Jesus. Trump reposted oh writing and we will do it again. Former Republican oh, Congressman Adam Kinzinger of Illinois, a military pilot, as you know, responded, quote, your family has sacrificed nothing. Your name will become synonymous with Benedict Arnold. And how dare you tweet this this weekend? You don't know the first thing about service, you child. Hmm. The congressman talking to Eric Trump there. This comes after Eric Trump posted a Memorial Day promotion for the Trump store on Instagram that read, we no. are honoring our brave men and women this weekend please buy our stuff. Eric since deleted that post, the Trump website still promoting that Memorial Day sale. So there it all is in one place, guys. So is it not bad enough that they made the holiday about themselves, but then they tried to monetize Memorial Day, folks? I am, it just doesn't end, does it? So getting to the hush money trial, they're in final arguments today, folks, uh, closing arguments, and that's expected to take all day. But Todd Blanche, who's the, I think he's the lead on the Trump defense. Todd Blanche said this, folks, and I'd just like to point it out to you and, and how disingenuous this statement is. So far. Yeah, Willie, right here, I just want to read the quote directly from you. Todd Blanche to the jury, quote, President Trump is innocent. He did not commit any crimes, and the district attorney has not met their burden of proof, period. You should want and expect more than the testimony of Michael Cohen. Todd Blanche, in what is expected to be about two hours of closing arguments, is... So let me read that again. He told the jury this morning that they should want and expect more than the testimony of Michael Cohen more than the testimony, kind of making it seem like we weren't able to present enough witnesses. We couldn't bring everybody that we wanted. We've been railroaded in this. You, you deserve more than that. Well, folks, they had the chance. They did. Take a look at this. This is coming to us from Yahoo News. It says, and they're talking about Alan Weisselberg here. And we know Alan Weisselberg has been in the Trump organization. He is one of the brains of the Trump organization. He was hired by Donald Trump's father, Fred Trump. So this is Emil Bove who's saying this. He says, the reason Mr. Weisselberg is not a witness to either side is because the district attorney's office initiated a perjury prosecution in the lead up to this case. One of the, and that again was Emil Bove, one of Trump's lawyers told the judge Juan Mershon outside the presence of the jury, outside the presence. So nobody in the jury heard that. Judge Mershon was the only one that was open to summoning Weisselberg from jail because that's where he is right now. And he said, has anyone attempted to get him to come in? Anyone? Anyone? The judge asked. Both sides said they had not. The issue was not raised in open court again. So they had the chance, folks. The judge was open to it. And the judge has been slammed for being partisan and trying to lock up Donald Trump uh, and, and just really sad stuff, you know, that's obviously in sharp contradiction to the reality of what this man, Judge Juan Mershon, is trying to do. Has anyone attempted to get him to come in? Anyone? Defense, would you like to hear from Alan Weisselberg? Would you like us to get him in from jail? No, they didn't want to, they didn't want to bring them in. So folks, they had their chance and it's entirely disingenuous to hear them say that you deserve more 
to the jury that you deserve more. So in terms of this hush money trial, folks, there are some complicated outcomes that the jurors could come up with here. Politico had a really good article that came out yesterday. It's entitled, It's Not Just Guilty or Not Guilty. Here are all the possible outcomes of the Trump trial. And I would like to add that jury deliberations could last anywhere from a few hours to a few weeks. <laughs> a few weeks. <laughs> Let's hope not. So what they could do is they could convict on all counts. Trump is charged with 34 counts of felony falsification of business records. And for the jurors to find Trump guilty of all 34 counts, they must find beyond a reasonable doubt, not only that Trump falsified or caused the falsification of business records with the intent to defraud, but also that he did so with the intent to commit or conceal another crime. That second element, the intent to commit or conceal another crime, elevates the charges to felonies. Prosecutors have offered three possible underlying crimes, violations of state or federal election law, and a tax crime, but the jurors do not all have to agree on what that separate crime was. Justice Juan Mershon has ruled. They could convict on some counts and acquit on others. In theory, the jury could find that, say, Trump did falsify business records by cutting the checks from the trust and his personal account, but he doesn't bear responsibility for the invoices from Cohen. In that scenario, the jury could convict Trump of some charges and acquit him of others. The 12 jurors would have, unanimous, would have to unanimously agree on the verdict for each of the counts. And of course, they could acquit on all counts. That's another scenario. And the article says there are a number of ways the jury could come to the decision that Trump is not guilty on all 34 counts, they could find that Trump didn't make false business records or cause others to make them, that he made them, but not with the intent to defraud, or that he made them with the intent to defraud, but not in the service of committing or covering up an underlying crime. Once again, all 12 jurors would have to agree that Trump isn't guilty of any of the 34 charges for the jury to fully acquit him in any of these scenarios. A not guilty verdict, verdict, as we probably all know, would be final as per the Constitution. There could be a hung jury. This is where things get dicey, the article says. If even a single juror cannot come to the same conclusion as the 11 others, Trump will get a hung jury. And yes, it has happened before, as you can imagine. If the jury seems as though they have reached an impasse during deliberations, the jurors will likely inform the judge of their predicament. The judge, Juan Mershon, would likely give them a set of instructions called an Allen charge, which asks them to go back and deliberate further to try to reach a uniform conclusion. If they still can't reach a unanimous verdict, Judge Juan Mershon would declare a mistrial. In theory, the judge could hang on some charges but reach a verdict on others. Just to make it even more confusing, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office could tr choose to try to retry the case, but that is not on a likely scenario that they would pursue. And of course, there could be a directed verdict that's very unlikely uh, that the judge would could remove the jury from the equation entirely. Again, highly unlikely. So a lot of things that uh, can happen here, folks, and nobody really knows where it is going to go. Till next time.